on the whole, would you say that Zvi has a better deck? Although, albeit much more difficult to play. Yeah. Let's see you'll play first. Yeah, but we will. It's see. definitely faster. He already <laughs> lost once though, so and he, right. we won't be. This tournament will not be. Not This tournament will not be won by either one of these. That'd be a bad way to turn two. Cornblitz still has a chance of winning. Turn two. I talked to Mark. I talked to Mark before the tournament began. I predicted that there would be three bargain decks in the top eight. I did not. I said I didn't think it would win, but I thought that there would be three in the top eight. Second turn lab. Oh, there is. A lucky guess. Oh. Does he have second turn lab? Yeah, he does. does. Wow, that's a go. that's a good draw. Does does we have any way of stopping our king lab, or would he even expect it? I'm not real sure. Yeah. He's turn one. Check out his sideboard here. He does have disenchant, and he has a, a main deck with sin. Okay, well we need to find out if Zvi actually brought those cards in. The thing is, here's here's an example. Uh, Chapin asked me about that in the last when he was up here before about how much it would matter to know <laughs> what your opponent's sideboard might have and Zvi is the kind of guy that would be up late researching what what all of his potential <laughs> opponents might have in their sideboard to stop him to hurry up and uh, he, he may very well know actually that, that Humphreys does have Arcane Laboratory in his sideboard and would prepare at least one anti-laboratory countermeasure we'll find out So am I correct in assuming that he has brought that Zvi has brought in disenchants? Yes. Okay, so yes. Zvi does have answers to Arcane Laboratory. He does have disenchants. Certainly because dis disenchants very versatile anyway. He can use it against other things in Dave's deck. Dave does get the intuition there. By the okay, choice. so Humphreys. I'm going to see turn two bars for intuition or turn two lab rather. I'm sorry. Kind of cool. That's like type one mystical tutor for demonic tutor. Yeah, I guess I should feel obligated to mention that yeah, Pakula's hero. <laughs> that Pakula's hero is on camera right now. Dave Humphreys is a longtime friend of friend of dead guys and yeah, the mind of New England, yeah. according to Tom Gaven. Yep. Okay, so he plays Ancient Tomb. He's taking a bunch more damage. He's, he's, down, to, yeah. he's down to 16. I'm sure not Dave, like it really matters. Dave thinks that's a pretty fair trade. Arcane Laboratory. Becoming a team for a lot. What a, that card is so amazing. Arcane Laboratory is one of the most long amazing day. cards. Oh, <laughs> so he draws. Gets a disenchant right off the top of his deck. <laughs> Tommy Top Decker. It's good to be the king. Although he can't cast it yet, so it's not that great. Z's got a good poker face, I'll give him that. Yeah. It's like, whatever. I've got disenchant on top of my deck. That doesn't mean anything. Arcane Schmab. Does the Arcane Lab in any way interfere with Humphreys, or is his deck just kind of a one, one spell a turn kind of deck anyway? I don't think it really does anything to him. No. In fact, he's almost got the combo right now. Almost, yeah. Intuition he's at missing, the end of turn. He's missing frantic search. Oh, intuition at the end of turn for the bargain abundance. Sure. I guess he can give him two bar two bargains, can he? Yeah. So he has, doesn't quite have it. The master core. <laughs> God, can he draw any better? <laughs> oh, you have a you have a lad out. Well, I guess I'll just draw my master core. <laughs> oh, boom! Why does this keep happening? <laughs> It's pretty good. In fairness, V did have a shot at bargain that turn. Your turn. For whatever that's worth. No, he, he doesn't. How? Ritual? Oh, yeah, Ritual's Arcane Lab in play. Yeah. They changed it. It counts as a spell, not a... Yeah, yeah. Yes. Now it counts as a spell. Would you favor him at this point? Uh, I think this one He plays the winner of... Uh, <laughs> of Corn Blue. Take uh, and, uh, Rose. Yeah, he plays the winner of Corn Blue. Rose. Yeah. And... Uh, Rose is now is winning. He's leading that match two to one or two to two. Actually, they're tied two to two. Well, if Cornbluff, Cornbluff wins, I think I think Hunka may be in trouble. But other than if he plays Rose, I, think, I don't know. Rose has been a machine so far. And he is the machine. Love to see. Big earn him. Goes for intuition, so he takes three more damage, going to thirteen. My answer. He's taking a really long time here, and then. The, Still on the end of Z's turn, I think. Inferred that it was simply too difficult to play. We have a winner. <laughs> King. He finally picked. Yeah, he decides so on. So yeah, Attunement, Seismic Assault, and Abundance. There's no bargain there. 
I believe he has a bargain in his hand, so there's no point in getting that. He'll just get fed that by Z. Oh, yeah. yeah. So at this point, Humphreys is gambling to draw a, a frantic search on the top of assault. his deck, right? He has Mystical Tutor also. You can't win without <laughs> putting aside the assault in the graveyard, so I'm going to give you the assault. Okay, so Zvi immediately decides to give Humphreys the seismic assault. Dave still has his turn coming up. Yeah, yeah I know. Know. Same as his end, end of turn effect. So he gives him seismic assault, attunement, and abundance go to the graveyard. All right. This untaps and draws a frantic search for the game, possibly. Dave See hits his deck. Pull a corn blith. Draw it. Be there. It's blue. It's intuition. Just as good. It's not as good, though, because it means he takes a lot more damage. He takes a minimum of six or seven more points. <laughs> Does it? Oh, did, I don't know if he has delusion still in the deck really going to dilute it. So what will he tutor for? It? Frantic search, frantic search, frantic search? I don't know. Wow, he does take a lot more damage. He takes, yeah, he's going to take four from Master Core and another three to cast Intuition. So he takes seven total, that'll drop him to six. And another three to cast Replenish. <laughs> Can't really bargain for a lot when you're at three, can you? No. <laughs> it's like Yogmoth's Inspiration. Yep. Draw two for six mana. Sure go. <laughs> he just says go, okay. So Mauschwitz untaps. Probably will remember to play Mastercore or pay for Mastercore. <laughs> Points a dark ritual at Mastercore and reconsiders. Okay. So he throws a dark ritual to Mastercore. Draws a card. And he gets another ritual. Tutor. Is that a tutor? comes across with Master Core. So Humphreys will take four going down to nine. So he's thinking. Takes off the glasses. Whoa. <laughs> what? Me in deep thought here. Yes. Yes, yeah, very interesting, actually. This has been one of the most cross-country yeah, top eights on record. Uh, there's yeah. players from all around all around the United States. Kyle Rose is from Virginia. Both uh, Selden and Cornblith are from Southern <laughs> California. Dave Humphreys is from Massachusetts. Mashwitz also from New England. He's from New York. Tobler's from Arizona. MacArthur way down south in Texas. And Hunka, a local boy from Columbus. Or actually not from Columbus, but from Ohio. Akron. Akron, Ohio. Yeah. Be thinking. What could, what could he be considering? What else is in his hand? I think he's your tutor, but I'm not sure if he has a. What's the point of tutor? Just gets, oh, I guess it's yeah. He gets his white source. They can do it at the end of the turn either way. He has no way to draw it though. I don't think. <coughs> no, he does not. His bargain. I got a really tough decision. <laughs> oh, he could play. Oh, he has, yeah, he could sit here traders and play bargain. We could also play delusions. Ah, he has the delusions in his hand, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. That would be huge. Yeah. Just walk the audience through his decision. Walk the audience through his tough decision. So it's your turn. Your turn. <laughs> so he says done. What do you think about that, Worth? Yeah, I think I think that's fine. I don't I think he doesn't. He doesn't know exactly what's in Dave's hand, and he, he's not sure if Dave has frantic search. Then, without doesn't have to intuition, then and just has frantic search, then he's going to kill him anyway. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing right there is the effect of a lot of practice and a lot of research and a lot of math yeah, and a lot of math we really understand but you know what my calculation is deck very well and is able to consider <laughs> just, in a very short period of time all the possibilities all the different permutations of cards that that humphreys could have in hand and exactly how much damage humphreys could deal given the amount of cards in his hand given the cards left in his deck given the fact that arcane laboratory is in play now if dave wants to if dave wants to win this turn he has to avoid a bit he cannot try to go off and, and fail this turn because then he'll be in Masticore range next turn. Yeah, Dave doesn't even have solutions in his deck. I'm pretty sure that he does, actually. I think I saw it when he was flipping through his deck. Oh, okay. I was analyzing various different intuitions when I would do it. 
I was like, maybe seismic assault. Seismic assault it was just the act. Apparently, apparently, uh, we've been informed that Dave Humphries has four delusions of mediocrity in his sideboard. Out the window, yeah. I, mean, some really interesting I, I could have sworn I saw one when he was flipping through his deck. So unless he's playing with five, or I'm insane. Three hours analyzing this game. He's not going to go above six life easily. So how worth? How on earth can he possibly win here? How can he possibly win? Boy, I, I don't even know. I don't think it's. I don't even Is think it's possible. What's he? I'm going to guess he doesn't want to concede, right? Because that's the end of the tournament for him. That'll his second loss of the tournament will knock him out. Oh, a frantic search. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was good. But I don't think it. I don't think it even matters. What can he do? Draw, draw one card. It's weird. It's like he. It's like he's playing Cadaver's Bloom, and he has squander resources, two natural balances, prosperity, everything in his hand. But for some reason, because he's at six life, that's not. Good. It doesn't. Yeah, he can't win. He's got to keep. It's weird. Which ultimately comes back to one of the biggest problems with bargain decks in general. Not only one that, of the reasons why people didn't play them is because you can't win if you have too little life. Plus, not only that, he, he's really getting, getting getting hurt by his own lab here a little bit. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, how does he win with his own lab in play? He can't. He can't do anything. Can take one he damage can't, this turn. He can't say he go. Can't. So let's see. This is a Rosewater puzzle. Your opponent is <laughs> V... The sadistically cackling man is at 20. You're at 6. All of your lands kill you. You can only cast one spell a turn. You can't win. Win this turn without losing. With that spell? Wouldn't Cackling Fiend be better for his V? Yeah, Cackling Fiend, perhaps. You're right. That's hard to say. I guess Cackling Fiend looks a little bit more like him than the, than, than the guy on Sadistic Blade. No offense to V. <laughs> Whoa, discard a card of your choice. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Dave. What can he do? Think, you know what he can do? He can pray that Zv does not upkeep Master. Please Lord. don't pay. That's what yeah. he can do. But I don't think he's going to forget. <laughs> score rack, so he can score rack for a disenchant now. Doesn't even a score rack for a white mana for the disenchant. He doesn't even need it. Humphreys takes two. Going down to he what? Four. He's at four. Going down to two, and he draws intuition, and that's going to be it. And that's match. So V's V Mashovitz knocks Dave Humphreys out of the tournament, winning three games to one.